nothing like the smell of fresh walnut in the morning. Okay, uh, I have the front of the car off, so what I'm going to do is use a crank pulley to close the valves, just because I don't have a battery in the back. However, I could try to, you know, but normally you don't have the front of the car off, so you unplug this, the starter solenoid. Right? So now that that's unplugged, you make a little uh, jumper cable. You connect your jumper cable. You make sure your uh, key is away from the car at least 50 yards uh, for about 30 minutes. So the car is pretty much in sleep mode before you want to start this. I don't know why, but that, that's what they say. And then you hit, you jump it right here. Of course it's not going to jump because there's no battery plugged in, but I'm just showing you what you do when you don't have access to the front. So that's what you do when the front of the car is not off, which most likely that's the way it's going to be. So now I'm going to get to cleaning. Crazy as it sounds, the special BMW 1 is more restrictive. And I've been using this. Just a radiator hose, you know, with the hole in it, the vacuum, and my own uh, blaster tool. It works real good. It works a lot better, a lot quicker than the one from Barbarian Auto Sport. Uh, I mean, I have the fancy tool. I'm just, I like this better. It works better. So, I mean, why not use a better tool even if it is a radiator hose? So, but these valves are getting clean real pretty, pretty quick here. So, got one more, one more to go. Equipment makes all the difference. The only thing I wish this was different, I wish uh, they didn't cheap up and just do a half and a half with a round. I wish they actually funneled. I mean, it goes down a little bit, but if it funneled, it would be a lot better. But this bigger tank's working a lot better. It's like night and day compared to the other equipment that I had. Now I can actually get it done and it gets done good. It doesn't take all day. Awesome. And this is an N20 BMW engine I'm doing. And one of the reasons why I like these radiator hoses is I don't have to buy all these extra adapters for the different cars. So. I usually don't open this valve all the way. And then I just go around. You can feel the walnut. Because it kind of vibrates the vibrates this shaft a little bit. You get it around real good in the valves. Try to get those ports good. You can turn the bottom off or the bypass off, but what I like to do is just I like this tool so much better than the last one.
see how quick that did it. Let's see if we got any. That's looking good. Still need a little more. But yeah, that's that's pretty much how quick it gets done. I got a little more with the easel lid, just a little bit, and then blow out the that walnut. So but that's that's pretty much how how quick it is with the right equipment. Uh, yeah, that one still needs, I still need to get the ports on that one, but, yeah. A few more seconds in there, and the ports are clean too. Of course, there's a little bit of walnut dust, but a little walnut dust never hurt nobody. It's better than that gunk. So anyway, these valves are clean. So it's 30,000 mile uh, maintenance, carbon maintenance or gunk maintenance, valve cleaning maintenance, whatever you call it, is, it's completed. Okay, here's the intake for the N20. I uh, blasted it clean, carefully power washed all the, well, it was pretty much really clean it was just a little oil residue residual in here but now it's completely clean which I like to clean these intakes when I do the when I do the valve cleaning and port cleaning because I mean why not you have it off it'll keep these valves cleaner longer because you won't have that residual oil in here gunking up the valves after you have them just cleaned so anyway uh, yeah that's it getting getting there